The 4.4 live stream ended few days ago, and I know players are not satisfied with that live stream. But it's not just us. Genshin Impact China version is far worse. Chinese players are not happy with the current Lantern Rite rewards this year. We all know that Chinese players get special treatment from Hoyovers. For example, they get special web event for every character's birthday, the KFC glider from the combo meal, and not to mention the PS5 4-star skin selector bundle. They are saying that they're not happy with the New Year rewards and saying they get less Prima Gems compared to the global players. I don't exactly know how they came to that conclusion. Mihoyo responded, saying they will add some few things to the New Year rewards. I'm not sure if it will be in the global version though. So we wait and see how things go. Now let's get back to our topic. 4.3 is almost at the end, few days remaining till version 4.4. So most players are curious on who to expect on version 4.5 so that they can start saving now. Well, we've got some info now. Remember, this info is still marked as early, so it's good to be a bit skeptical. Let's start with the first phase of version 4.5. In the update 4.5, Kiori is the next new 5-star character. In the current version 4.3, we had an event named Roses and Musket event. In that event, we saw that Kiori has a Geo vision that she carries on her waist. She will most likely be a sword character for now. We're still not sure about her kit and gameplay, but there are some who are saying Kiori's abilities will be based on defense, which I guess is common for most Geo characters. Her elemental burst is said to increase the shield strength triggered by the crystallize reaction. This could make her a good support for Navia, who also uses the crystallize reaction. But remember, it's still good to remain skeptical about it. Albedo, another Geo character scaling on defense, who is also a great support for Navia, will be featured on this phase. Honestly, this man definitely needs that rerun. It's been so long since we last saw him. I believe his last rerun was version 3.1. But anyway, him and Chiori will be in the first phase banners. As for phase two, this is when changes happen. Hoyoverse will introduce a new banner system in this phase, the triple banners. We're still not sure how the triple banner will go. Some sources are saying it will not be a triple banner, but triple phases. Some say they will rerun characters during their birthday, and some saying it will be three banners per phase. Let's see how things go. But anyway, moving to the second phase of version 4.5. A couple of trusted sources confirmed Liney will definitely rerun in this patch, but it kind of makes sense, since Mihoyo reruns the new characters before we get to the next region. There are some exceptional though, for example, Baiju. Shenhe or Ganyu will appear in this patch, if not both. But my guess is Shenhe, since she is getting a new skin in 4.4. I know Ganyu is also getting a new skin in 4.4, but Shenhe's banner was way before Ganyu's. The last banner is where it gets a bit weird. Some people are saying it will be Wanderer, and some are saying it will be Rootsley. Expect one of them to appear in the second phase of version 4.5. So, what do you think? Do you think we get more Prima Gems compared to the Chinese players? And let me know who we're saving for! Until next time!